Hello and welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2024 Top 37 Countdown. It's place number 23, Estonia. Fies, fies minust and pull up with Nendest narcoticumidest et teami kul midagi. Please do click on the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and of course, um, the link to the music video is in the description, as is the uh, link to my blog post. Um, now, having gone over that very, very long song title, um, our second Baltic country of this year's countdown is the most successful uh, results-wise. Estonia were the first of the kind of new wave of countries that came in in the 1990s, following the uh, collapse uh, um, of the Iron Curtain. Um, to win the contest, which they did so in 2001. Uh, and out of um, 28 appearances in the contest, as well as that win, they've had a further 10 top 10 results, um, including last year's entry, which finished eighth. So they've got a strong pedigree and uh, that the winners of this year's Estelal, which is their uh, national selection show, uh, have to lift up to. Now, they've already made their mark, as you've already heard from my probably rather clunky way of pronouncing it, but they already have the longest song title ever in Eurovision history. Um, but will they make their mark in any other way? Well, the song Nendest, and I'm not going to repeat the full song title, uh, is a collaboration between two groups. So the hip-hop group Fis Minus, which means five minuses, and Estonian folk duo, which is Pull Up. Uh, Fis Minus have been around since 2016, um, but they came to prominence in 2018, uh, released a couple of albums. Um, they've also twice won Estonian Artist of the Year um, awards. Uh, Pull Up are a new folk duo who've been around since 2014. They've also had a couple of albums that they've released in that time. Not had quite the same uh, success as Fis Minust. Um, the song title in English is We Sure Know Nothing About These Drugs. Um, maybe the longest song title in Eurovision history, but it doesn't actually appear as a lyric within the song. However, the song lyrics do tell the story of the title. Uh, and it's all quite uh, tongue-in-cheek there, so the very sort of emphasis in saying that we don't know anything about these drugs or what could these things be. So yes, it's all very tongue-in-cheek. Um, it's quite a hard song to define genre-wise um, as being a fusion of more than one genres. We do have the inclusion of some Estonian folk instruments, uh, a very catchy chorus, and a signature dance move. So lots of Eurovision classic fare there. As with Finland, I would put this more in the sort of frivolous and fun category rather than something with too deep a meaning. Um, but this is actually an entry that I've moved up a few places in my ranking um, following seeing them perform at London Eurovision Party, which I was at uh, last week. Um, they, they bring such energy to the performance and therefore I think merited push, pushing, being pushed at my ranking by a few places. Now, while I said Finland was the perhaps more the successor, or Finland 2024 was more the successor of Croatia's Let Three in Mama Shush from last year uh, than Finland was of Finland, I probably should caveat and say I think that this entry is even more of a successor to Let Three and Mama Shush. Um, it's performing okay in the Eurovision scoreboard, um, hovering sort of mid-table-ish at the moment. Um, when you look at just the scoreboard app for semi-final two, it's just missing out on a qualification spot uh, on that on that basis. But should be said that the app uh, is tends not to be that uh, favourable towards these sorts of songs. I remember Croatia last year were way down in the rankings, but of course then. Uh, quite easily qualified and did pretty well on the televote in the final. Um, in the betting, which I think in the betting odds, which is sometimes a little bit more accurate perhaps for what will actually go through, they are currently sitting in ninth place to qualify. Um, but the likelihood, 72%, again at the time of recording, is fairly high. Um, one thing is that they may have a fairly um, big rival for the sort of quirkiness USP in within their semi because they have Netherlands uh, within their semi-final and as we'll see later on in the countdown that is a very very quirky entry but I do think they have a good chance of getting through to a third consecutive uh, grand final appearance I don't think 
if they do get through to the grand final, we're going to see another top 10. I think this may struggle as as a number of these uh, televote friendly songs may struggle with the um, with the juries. Um, but it will bring a lot of uh, sort of fun uh, to the final should it get through. But what do you think uh, about the song and the performance, the chances? Please do, as always, let me know in the comments and I will see you soon. Take care.